summer, guess what we're doing this morning? Guess what? We're going to see a really big waterfall and then we're going to see something that looks kind of like the moon. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day six of our New Zealand North Island road trip. We have woken up in Taupo this morning, so we didn't actually end up filming yesterday, day five. That was just a transit day and a rest day for us. We drove from New Plymouth to Taupo and we're staying at this place called Tapo de Bretz, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got like a cabin here and there's a water park, which we want to explore later. But this morning we thought we will check out the number one attraction, not only in Taupo, but the whole of New Zealand. Guys, we're gonna go to... strong that it prevents eels and native fish swimming upstream and that's why there's no eels in Lake Taupo. It's, so cute. it's like crystal blue and it's so nice to see such a blue waterfall on this trip because I remember at Paihia the Aruru Falls yeah. was so brown and murky. It was still cool but to see it this blue is really special. Seeing a waterfall like this reminds you of how powerful nature is and I'm always in awe when you can see the power of it and see the action in nature. It's really incredible. So the reason why Hooker Falls is so mighty and powerful and intense is because the Waikato River, which is usually 100 metres wide, is being forced to narrow through this chasm, which is 15 metres wide. And that's why all this water is like gushing out. I think there's about 200,000 litres of water coming down every second. And it takes about 11 seconds to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool and one minute to fill five Olympic-sized swimming pools. So how long have I been talking for, Ben? About 30 seconds or so. Ben, two and a half swimming pools. <laughs> so the Waikato River is the longest river in New Zealand and it powers nine hydroelectric power stations. That's a lot of power, babe. <laughs> so that was Hooker Falls. It was pretty amazing. And now we're off to Craters of the Moon, which conveniently is right around the corner. Craters of the Moon is New Zealand's largest geothermal field. New Zealand in general has a lot of thermal activity because it's sitting on top of two colliding tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate. So underneath us there's a lot of magma, which is heating up the underground water, and the pressure in that is building and rising, and it's taking the water through all these cracks and faults in the Earth's crust, and then it's coming out in the form of geysers and steam vents and also hot springs and mud baths. It looks like there's heaps of smoke machines just placed out in the field. But the crazy thing is it's just nature doing its thing. Can you hear that? The bubbling sound of the mud pools or the yeah. I really like this place because it's such a unique landscape. It feels like you're in a fantasy land or just some otherworldly landscape. It's really cool. So apparently in some areas here, the ground temperature at 30 centimeters deep is hot enough to boil water. That's hot. So hot, babe. Very hot. All the plants that are growing here because it's such heated temperatures, they've all adapted with like shallow root systems and thicker, tougher. This place is really going to test if my new natural deodorant is working for me because it's hot. That's the 
definitely up there is the, the best part. Might as well. Let's do it. Craters of the moon. Craters of the moon. Randomly started laughing. For no reason. Which is what we should all do in life. <laughs> One last activity for the day. So one of the reasons we stayed at Taupor de Brett is it has a water park. And to finish off this wonderful day, we're gonna go for a swim. Please.